Hi and welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we're gonna do an old, old, old age makeup. This one is on special request from my boyfriend. Don't yet know why he wanted me to make an old hag, but uh, well, I like a challenge, so I decided to make myself as old as I could possibly get. And as this is about 180 years old, I think I succeeded. Well, if you want to know how I have created this makeup, please keep watching because I will explain it step by step in the coming video. And if you don't want to miss any of the videos we upload to this YouTube channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Step one in this makeup is applying the bald cap as i have a complete video on how to apply a latex bald cap by maron i will not do this on camera today but be sure to check out the link i put up there with the video on how to apply a bald cap if this is new for you now i will just apply it so we can continue with sculpt gel to make a new nose for me I mixed part A and B, so I left out the C to make it a bit quicker to work with today. And as it is on my nose, it doesn't really need to be that flexible. Um, and that is why I made that choice. I'm gonna build it up in layers. So this is the first one. That wasn't much, but that is layer number one and I will keep building it up until I have the nose I want. That was layer number two. I'm gonna let this dry. I'm not sure yet if I wanna put more on the nose, but let me see once it's dry, if I want more or if I'm satisfied with the nose as it is at this moment. While letting the sculpt gel dry, I'm gonna continue with the rest of my skin. And to create wrinkles, I'm gonna use Old Age Stipple by Makeup for Film and Television. It is a wonderful and very easy to use product, but if you decide to use Old Age Stipple for yourself, be sure to get the remover for the Old Age Stipple as well. It is the Remove It Gel number two. It dissolves the Old Age Stipple. If you don't use a proper remover, you won't be able to get it off your skin. So this is very important. I'm gonna apply it with a flat brush on my skin and you will see what it does in a minute. It is important to stretch the skin you want the wrinkles to appear on. So I'm gonna look kind of funny probably, but um, it's the result that counts. It is time to start coloring this lady. And to do this, I am combining my Encore palettes and my Dashbow palettes. So I'm first gonna do the skin cover, of course, because I want to create an old pale skin on my hag witch old lady. I don't know yet what the end result will be, uh, but then I'm gonna get the Essentials and the Autopsy palette in there as well to create that really old skin. Time to continue to some wool crap. I'm not completely satisfied with the coloring yet because I think it's just very light. Uh, but I'm gonna apply the wool crap and then see what I should do to the coloring. And then I had a mini moment of panic. 
I wanted to do a wool crep hair for hair, but you need a straightening iron to uh, be able to work with wool crep and I misplaced mine. So I thought, well, here I am doing this makeup and I can't finish it. Uh, so let's say I am disappointed in not being able to find my straightening iron in my very organized <laughs> uh, studio, but I have a solution and I'm just gonna get hair off this gray white wig. It is synthetic hair, so it's more difficult to get it on your head. Uh, but as it is straight, it is the only hair I have at this moment to make hair for my makeup of the day. So I'm just going to cut this and get it on my head and hopefully it will do what I want it to do. And there is the hair. It's kind of a good thing that you can't see what's happening under this point because, well, it's kind of messy over here now. Um, well, the hair is uh, on. I only did the front, of course, because of the YouTube video. Would I go out, I would do the back as well. But as you can see, it looks it doesn't really look nice, uh, but it is kind of effective. I do need to make my skin a bit darker around the eyes and the parts that would cave in when I get older. So I'm going to go back to the uh, skin cover palette to make that happen. And while I say skin cover, I actually mean the undead palette because that has those nice deadly colors in there that could be used in this makeup of mine. So I'm just going to darken up the bits that I think would be darker with age. Yes, and there it is, my old 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 age makeup for today of course i hope you liked it if you did don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our youtube channel in the link below to stay tuned on all the videos we upload to this youtube channel from special effects and theater makeup to face painting and prosthetic makeup well if you are interested in any of those don't forget to hit that subscribe button for now i wish you a pleasant day and of course i hope to see you next time bye bye